a lot of warriors to work around here. <laughs> bulk pack here. Some real heavy stuff. Just an FYI, that is a huge pain in the butt. There's so many curves in here, concave areas sunken in. We've got a whole bunch of wire here I had to avoid. Uh, so I didn't want to have to pull any of that up so I left the, the factory connectors in there. So I had to piece it together with, I don't know, a hundred pieces or something here. I mean, there's a lot of little, little patches. Rubbed it down as best as possible, cleaned it with alcohol first. But uh, that's what it looks like before I put the factory cover back on. So hopefully that'll quiet, quiet my trunk lid down some. Even got up in these holes as much as I could. Um, it's tough to get to because you can't get your hand in there, but uh, I got at least a few little pieces. I even got one way, you can't see it, but way in there. Um, couldn't get most of it, but I did get some on some of it. There's even some factory, looks like sprayed on stuff here. It's, it's like a thick, goopy substance. I didn't stick any more over that. I still might do that, but I put some on the top of the trunk lid. So now, got it pressed in there all nice and good. Now I'm gonna put the trunk lid back on, or the uh, the cover. Yeah, I had marked where the the cosmetic trunk cover ended with the tape beforehand, before I took it off, so I won't have any sticking out of the sides. Okay, all the way around. Um, that way it's going to look just like factory when it's done. I'll put the lid back on, nobody will be able to tell what I did. It'll just sound better. And there it is. Trunk lid's back on. Can't tell I ever did anything. It took about, I don't know, one, one and two thirds of those sheets for about two and a half hours to piece that together get it on there smooth.